Bemid bar numbers 18. And Yahuwah said unto El Aharan, You and your sons and your father's house will you, rather with you, shall bear at the iniquity of the sanctuary. And you and your sons with you shall bear at the iniquity of your priesthood. And at your brethren also of the tribe of, of Levi, the tribe of your father, bring with you, that they may be joined unto you and minister unto you. But you and your sons with you shall minister before the tabernacle of witness. They shall guard your watch and the watch of all the tabernacle, only they shall not come nigh to the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die. And they shall be joined unto you and guard at the watch of the tabernacle of the assembly for all the service of the tabernacle. And a stranger shall not come nigh unto you. And ye shall guard at the watch of the sanctuary and at the watch of the altar, that there be no wrath any more upon the children of Yashadael. And I, behold, I have taken at your brethren the Leviim from among the children of Yashadael. To you they are given as a gift for Yahuwah, to do at the service of the tabernacle of the assembly. Therefore you and your sons with you shall guard at your priest's office for everything of the altar and within the veil. And ye shall serve... I have given at your priest's office unto you as a service of gift. And the stranger that comes nigh shall be put to death. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Ahran, Behold, I also have given you at the charge of my heave offerings of all the hallowed things of the children of Yashadael. Unto you have I given them by reason of the anointing and to your sons, by an ordinance forever. This shall be yours of the most holy things, reserved from the fire. Every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for you and for your sons. In the most holy place shall you eat it. Every male shall eat it. It shall be holy unto you. And this is yours, the heave offering of their gift, with all the wave offerings of the children of Yashadael. I have given them unto you and to your sons and to your daughters with you, by a statute forever. Everyone that is clean in your house shall eat of it. All the best of the oil, and all the best of the wine, and of the wheat, the first fruits of them which they shall offer unto Yahuwah, them have I given you. And whatsoever is first ripe in the land, which they shall bring unto Yahuwah, shall be yours. Everyone that is clean in your house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in Yashadael shall be yours. Everything that opens the womb in all flesh, which they bring unto Yahuwah, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be yours. Nevertheless, at the firstborn of man shall you surely redeem, and at the firstling of unclean beasts shall you redeem. And those that are to be redeemed from a month old shall you redeem, according to your estimation, for the money of five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty geras. But the firstling of a cow or the firstling of a sheep or the firstling of a goat, 
you shall not redeem. They are holy. You shall sprinkle at their blood upon the altar, and shall burn at their fat for an offering made by fire, for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And the flesh of them shall be yours, as the wave breast, and as the right shoulder are yours. All the heave offerings of the holy things, which the children of Yasharael offer unto Yahuwah, have I given you, and your sons and your daughters with you, by a statute forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before Yahuwah unto you and to your seed with you. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Ahran, You shall have no inheritance in their land, neither shall you have any part among them. I am your part and your inheritance among the children of Yasharael. And behold, I have given the children of Levi all the tenth in Yasharael for an inheritance, for their service which they serve, even at the service of the tabernacle of the assembly. Neither must the children of Yasharael henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the assembly, lest they bear sin and die. But the Leviim shall do at the service of the tabernacle of the assembly, and they shall bear their iniquity. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations that among the children of Yasharael they have no inheritance. But at the tithes of the children of Yasharael, which they offer as a heave offering unto Yahuwah, I have given to the Leviim to inherit. Therefore I have said unto them, Among the children of Yasharael, they shall have no inheritance. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Thus speak unto the Leviim, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Yasharael at the tithes which I have given you, from them for your inheritance. Then ye shall offer up a heave offering of it for Yahuwah, even a tenth part of the tithe. And this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you, as though it were the grain of the threshing floor, and as the fullness of the winepress. Thus ye also shall offer a heave offering unto Yahuwah of all your tithes, which ye receive of the children of Yasharael, and ye shall give thereof Yahuwah's et heave offering to Ahran the priest. Out of all your gifts ye shall offer every heave offering of Yahuwah, et of all the best thereof, even at the hallowed part thereof out of it. Therefore you shall say unto them, when ye have heaved at the best thereof from it, then it shall be counted unto the Leviim as the increase of the threshing floor and as the increase of the winepress. And ye shall eat it in every place, ye and your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the assembly. And ye shall bear no sin by reason of it, when ye have heaved from it at the best of it. Neither shall ye pollute at the holy things of the children of Yasharael, lest ye die.